Prices of resale flats and private homes in the last quarter logged their slowest growth in over two years. This came on the back of cooling measures. Analysts expect the slower pace of growth to continue in the near term amid economic uncertainties and rising interest rates. The housing market may be showing signs of cooling, but this buyer is in no hurry to buy. The places I'm looking at, uh, speci specifically the East, lah, um, places like Bedo, and they mostly have mature estates. So if I'm going to pay a premium for that, if I do sell in the future, it will be, it'll be uh, depreciating, lah, which uh, I'm not looking forward to. Resale flat prices in the last three months of 2022 rose 2.3% compared to 2.6% the previous quarter. Market watchers cite the downbeat global economic outlook, higher interest rates and government cooling measures. One thing is the interest rate has been uh, going up and which is going to be a, a significant cost to property owners who have to use mortgage to finance their uh, home ownership. Uh, and also the uh, sort of the uh, construction cost has also gone up, which also contributed to the price. <laughs> Analysts think the resale price could grow by 5 to 8 percent this year, down from the 10.4 percent growth in 2022. Because of the cooling measures, right now price growth uh, for the HDB resale market has stabilized. Therefore, this could be a good uh, window opportunity for resale uh, buyers to come into the market. Over in the private sector, prices in the last quarter climbed 0.4% compared to 3.8% previously. It was held back by a 2.6% drop in suburban home prices and a lack of new projects. There were no major uh, new launches, so prices were pretty stable. And that's why we do not see the prices uh, growing uh, at the same pace as what we see in the previous few quarters. So in fact, the price growth of less than 1% seems pretty stable for the whole market. Rental rates for private homes also saw slower growth, up more than 6% versus nearly 11% in the previous quarter.